For my choice about the which novel or book should be translated into an opera, it's actually a play. I would love to see Shakespeare's Love's Labor's Lost put into an opera form. It's a delightful story that is both comic and tragic, and that's pretty much opera. I think Siddhartha would make a really interesting opera because of its many different moral teachings, number one, and also too visually, somebody could make it really beautiful. I absolutely adore a book called Endurance by Alfred Lansing. It is a, a adventure slash biography about a, an explorer named Ernest Shackleton, uh, an exploration to, uh, to Antarctica that uh, went horribly wrong in 1914. And I think it would be just an, an epic journey of survival and, and adventure. I think a book that I would like to uh, see as an opera is James and the Giant Peach. Um, although I really like the play, The Importance of Being Earnest. I know that's bending the rules a little bit as a play, but I think it would make an awesome comedic opera. I would love to see To Kill a Mockingbird made into an opera. I'm a little shocked that it hasn't already been made into one. Um, if not that, then Harry Potter, but I think the casting would be a nightmare. <laughs> well, my favorite book as a child, at least for part of my childhood, was A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lengel, and I think that that would make a really fabulous opera. You have a, um, a similar to, similarly to this opera, you have a young woman sort of finding herself and growing up and um, exploring different sorts of relationships, and you also have an element of um, supernatural and, you know, the sci-fi world, which would be fun, and you have three witches, which is always a lot of fun in operas. Maybe 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, just because the ring has a giant dragon. I kind of want to see a giant squid attack a submarine on stage. Well, I read this book, uh, my sister recommended it to me, called I Am Asher Lev, and it's a memoir. I can't actually remember who wrote it, but it's about um, a Hasidic Jew who's growing up but has a talent for art. So he actually trains with like a famous artist and uh, has to kind of decide between which world he wants to live in, his conservative religious upbringing or this modern art world. I don't actually have an answer to that, but I'll give you what my husband's answer is, which is really good because we talk about this a lot over coffee at our house, things like this. Um, he thinks the movie Dark Victory would make an awesome opera. And this is like a late 30s movie. It's with Betty Davis and Humphrey Bogart. I think, even think Ronald Reagan might have had a small role in it. And actually, he's got a point. I argue that it's a little bit Traviata-like, so that maybe it might not be um, as original as some. It's a different story about a female heroine getting sick and dying. But okay, it could be a pretty good opera. I don't know who I get to play it or who I get to write it, but it could work.